Why is Facebook reviews probably the poorest way of collecting testimonials? Hi, I'm Rob Onspach, and let me share with you why, you know, my opinion on why Facebook review is terrible. You see, they have a process of allowing anybody, customers or not, to review your service. And you might say, well, you know, that's, that's kind of good, right? You know, the more testimonials, the better. Uh -uh. The more positive testimonials, the better. Quality over quantity. The problem is, Facebook's system is open to anybody to critique you. Is that fair? No. Because they're not customers of yours. So, if you're doing a super job, you're striving for that five star with a great testimonial. True? But, if your competitor is jealous of your service, he can go in and give you a one star blank review. The reason why he does a blank review is because if it's a, if it's a contentious, arrogant, um, bad review, he can act, you can go in and flag it, flag it as inappropriate, flag it as, you know, spam, whatever. They can they can be flagged. The negative comments can be flagged and removed. But the blank, the blank one-star reviews cannot be. And that's terrible. Facebook scores your reviews on a five-point system. So the more five stars you have, the higher that point value is going to be. So it averages out. So say you have 100 great reviews, right? you should have a perfect five-star review. Unfortunately, the system doesn't work that way. And since people are allowed to give blank reviews, your competitors, people that you don't even know, are giving you one-star blank reviews and you can't remove them. So now your score gets lower and lower and lower. It's terrible. It's just a terrible way of Developing a relationship with your fans, friends, and followers when they see you only have a 3.5 out of 5. So that's mediocre. And you're striving for 4.5, 4.85. So now you have to go out and ask more and more and more people to give you a positive review to hope and raise your score and lower the amount of star, you know, one star reviews. So my hope is that one day Facebook makes people actually fill out the review process with actual content. Because if it's negative, you can flag it. If it's blank, it's there and there's nothing you can do about it. So when you're in your review process and you're asking people for reviews, try to control the system, okay? Go through your customer base. Tell people where they can leave you reviews, whether it be Facebook, whether it be Google, whether it be Yelp, okay? If, you're in, if the system is open to everyone, you need to be able to control some form of it. Don't just rely on people to come in and give you one star reviews or blank reviews because it's very hard to bring that number up. So I did an experiment the other day where a customer had so many one star reviews that they needed an extra 150 positive five stars to bring it up to a 4.5. How fair is that? It's not. So, Facebook system, lousy. 
is Rob Onsbach. Talk to you later.